Uh, my name is Josh Aquino. Um, I'm from San Diego, California, and I'm here with the University Fellows in Marion, Alabama for the Black Belt Experience. In the cemetery, there are over 1,500 graves. Uh, that, doesn't, that doesn't include graves that have not been in the database that we've accumulated. And we've been recording down names and such, uh, recording down bits of history so that we can help people really, really track their genealogies and trace their lineages throughout history. And you have families dating back to like the 1800s who are all buried here in like their own sections. And it's, I'm like the history that I've learned since, since I've been in this uh, a cemetery has been just marvelous. Since we've gotten here, we have gotten every single uh, grave in the cemetery um, into a firm database, and I'm um, into sections. Um, and that was a big goal of ours, and we have, have easily uh, completed it. I think it's really important for us to you know, have a map so that people, when they come to visit or when they're interested in finding their relatives' graves, to be able to go to a map and um, see where in the cemetery they're located. Can I just do your best? Like you could say, it's some person found in Section A, um, born in this county in April of 1823, and migrated to such and such county, and, and that's when they died. It's interesting reading the different, like the stories, the epitaphs on them, and um, being able to record that, because you know that there's a family out there that um, We'll be thankful for that. Really, it's, it's living history, what we're doing in the cemetery here. The people that are, that are buried here are involved with all sorts of, all sorts of parts of history in, in Alabama, not just Marion, but Alabama as well. I live in a little town called Folsom, Louisiana. It's a little bit north of New Orleans. We have a cemetery, and I'd really, I don't think that we have a, a map um, of the cemetery. And I'd really honestly like to start something like this in um, for the cemetery there so I think it's I think that's I would never have thought about that before this project so um, I don't know maybe other people will get an idea to do the same in their own towns.